Have you ever wondered how our ancestors could move mountains with nothing but their hands and simple tools? What drove them to create monuments that would stand for thousands of years, defying the limits of their time? Imagine standing before a massive stone structure, its rough-hewn surfaces towering above you, silent and imposing. This isn't a monument of recent times, nor one built with the aid of modern machinery. It's the Dolmen de Menga, a megalithic tomb constructed over 5,600 years ago, during the Neolithic era. The sheer scale of the structure, with stones weighing up to 150 tons, boggles the mind. How did ancient engineers, without the benefit of cranes, trucks, or even iron tools, manage to construct something that would endure for millennia? The Dolmen de Menga is more than just a historical curiosity. It's a profound testament to the ingenuity and determination of our ancestors. Located near Antequera, Spain, on a gentle hillside, this ancient site has captivated archaeologists, engineers, and historians alike. What drives this fascination is not just the structure's age or size, but the remarkable engineering skills it demonstrates. How did the builders transport these enormous stones? What techniques did they use to ensure the structure's stability? And why did they invest so much effort into creating a monument of such permanence? To appreciate the magnitude of their achievement, it's essential to delve into the details of the construction process. This exploration will reveal the astonishing capabilities of Neolithic people who, despite their lack of advanced tools, managed to solve complex engineering problems with creativity and resourcefulness. Their work challenges modern assumptions about the past, suggesting that ancient civilizations were far more sophisticated than we often give them credit for. The construction of a megalithic marvel. Techniques and challenges. The Dolmen de Menga's construction is a puzzle that continues to intrigue researchers. At nearly 25 meters long and five meters wide, the tomb consists of 32 massive stones carefully selected and transported from a quarry located 850 meters away and 50 meters higher in elevation. This distance and elevation difference might seem trivial with modern machinery, but in the Neolithic era, it presented a formidable challenge. One of the most compelling theories about the transportation of these stones involves the use of large wooden sleds and ropes. The builders likely relied on human muscle and perhaps even domesticated animals to drag these colossal stones across the landscape. To minimize friction, they might have used water or animal fat to lubricate the path, reducing the effort required to move each stone. This method, though labor-intensive, was effective, allowing the builders to transport stones weighing as much as a blue whale, a feat that, even today, would be daunting without modern equipment. Once at the construction site, the stones were carefully arranged to form the tomb's walls and roof. The builders employed a technique known as corbelling, where each successive layer of stones is slightly offset from the one below it, gradually narrowing the roof. This method not only reduced the amount of material needed at the top, but also allowed the structure to bear the immense weight of the stones above. The precision required for this technique is remarkable suggesting that the builders had a deep understanding of geometry and structural integrity. The stones themselves were partially buried in the bedrock to provide additional stability. This involved digging trenches, lowering the stones into place, and then backfilling around them. The use of counterweights might have been employed to gradually lower the stones with precision, ensuring that each one fit perfectly into the structure. The walls were placed at equal angles a feature that indicates the use of tools like plumb lines to ensure accuracy. This attention to detail is astounding, especially considering the limited resources available at the time. Inside the tomb, support columns were added to help bear the weight of the roof. These columns were likely installed after the walls were completed, with the builders carefully positioning them to distribute the load evenly. The final step in the construction process involved placing five large stones on top to form the roof, a task that required both strength and ingenuity. Soil was gradually removed from the site, 
bringing the structure to its final height and revealing the impressive megalithic tomb that still stands today, the purpose and significance of the Dolmen de Manga. While the construction techniques of the Dolmen de Manga are fascinating in their own right, the question of why such a monumental structure was built is equally intriguing. What motivated the people of the Neolithic era to invest so much time and effort into creating this massive tomb? The answer, it seems, is as much about spirituality and cultural beliefs as it is about engineering prowess. The Dolmen de Manga is often thought to have served as a temple or a tomb, though the exact purpose remains a mystery. Unlike other megalithic tombs from the same period, the Dolmen de Manga contains very few human remains, suggesting that it might not have been used exclusively as a burial site. Instead, it could have been a place of worship or a ceremonial center where rituals were performed to honor the dead or communicate with the divine. The tomb's orientation is another intriguing aspect. Unlike many other megalithic structures, which are aligned with the solstices or other celestial events, the Dolmen de Manga is oriented toward the nearby Peña de los Enamorados, a mountain with a distinctive profile that resembles a human face. This alignment suggests that the mountain held special significance for the people who built the tomb, possibly representing a sacred landscape or a place of ancestral spirits. The robust construction of the Dolmen de Menga might also have been influenced by the need for stability in a seismically active area. The region around Antiquera is prone to earthquakes, and the builders may have designed the tomb to withstand these natural forces. The partial burial of the stones in the bedrock would have provided additional stability, helping the structure to endure over millennia. Leonardo Garcia San Juan, a researcher from the University of Seville, offers a compelling perspective on the tomb's construction. He notes that the stones were carefully placed and carved to fit together perfectly, with each block supporting the others. This interlocking design is a testament to the builder's understanding of physics, geology, and geometry. Garcia San Juan suggests that the people who built the Dolmen de Menga possessed a sophisticated knowledge of these subjects, even if they didn't approach them in the same way we do today. The tomb's durability is a reflection of this knowledge. Despite being built over 5,600 years ago, the Dolmen de Menga has survived the ravages of time, standing as a silent witness to the achievements of a long-lost civilization. It challenges our modern perceptions of the past, reminding us that ancient peoples were capable of remarkable feats of engineering and construction, even without the advanced tools and technologies we take for granted today, reflecting on the legacy of the Dolmen de Menga. As we conclude our exploration of the Dolmen de Menga, it's worth considering the broader implications of this ancient monument. What does it tell us about the people who built it? And what lessons can we draw from their achievements? In many ways, the Dolmen de Menga is a symbol of human creativity, resilience, and the enduring desire to leave a lasting mark on the world. The builders of the Dolmen de Menga were not merely laborers. They were engineers, architects, and artists working together to create something of immense significance. Their work was guided by a deep understanding of the natural world, as well as a spiritual connection to the landscape in which they lived. This connection is evident in the tomb's alignment with Peña de los Enamorados and the careful selection of stones from the surrounding area. The builders saw the world not just as a place to live, but as a canvas on which to express their beliefs, values, and identity. In today's world, where technology often seems to dominate our lives, the Dolmen de Menga serves as a reminder of the power of human ingenuity. Despite the lack of modern tools, the builders of this ancient tomb were able to solve complex problems and create a structure that has withstood the test of time. Their work challenges us to rethink our assumptions about the past and to recognize the value of traditional knowledge and skills. Leonardo Garcia San Juan's reflections on the science of the Neolithic era are particularly poignant in this context. He suggests that we often underestimate the capabilities of ancient peoples, assuming that they were less advanced 
simply because they lack the tools and technologies we have today. But the Dolmen de Menga proves otherwise. It demonstrates that the builders had a sophisticated understanding of the natural world, one that was rooted in careful observation, experimentation, and a deep connection to their environment. As we look to the future, there is much we can learn from the builders of the Dolmen de Menga. Their work reminds us that the greatest achievements often come from a combination of knowledge, creativity, and determination. It challenges us to think more deeply about how we interact with the world around us and to appreciate the legacy of those who came before us. The Dolmen de Menga is not just a relic of the past. It is a living testament to the enduring power of human creativity and the desire to leave a lasting impact on the world. As we continue to explore and learn from this ancient monument, we can draw inspiration from the builder's ingenuity and resilience, using their example to guide our own efforts to create something of lasting value. Reflecting on the legacy of the Dolmen de Menga. The legacy of the Dolmen de Menga goes beyond just admiring the capabilities of ancient people. It's also a tribute to their imagination, determination, and vision. This structure symbolizes the Neolithic people's commitment to overcoming challenges, dreaming big, and leaving behind a legacy that would endure for millennia. Even with today's advancements in engineering, constructing a monument like the Dolmen de Menga, using only the tools and materials available 6,000 years ago, would be an immense challenge. Leonardo Garcia San Juan emphasizes this point, highlighting how ancient builders accomplished feats that would still be daunting for many modern engineers. Visiting the Dolmen de Menga isn't just about seeing a historical site. It's about stepping into a time when human creativity and resilience knew no bounds. This structure is a powerful reminder of what can be achieved through imagination and willpower. It stands as a monument to human potential and continues to invite us to ponder the depths of history and the enduring power of human ingenuity. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the past. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of ancient engineering and the remarkable story of the Dolmen de Menga. If you found this adventure into history intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fascinating stories. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.